I'm sure by now Facebook groups need no introduction to you. They've been growing in popularity over the last few years with over 620 million groups on Facebook right now. And they can be a great marketing tool for your online fitness business where you can create a gated community where you can nurture, provide value and really build a strong community. I see Facebook groups as a way of doubling your organic reach on Facebook because I'm sure you've experienced a lack of reach and engagement on Facebook over the last few years. So whatever you post on say your personal profile, you can take that content and post it in the group. And before you say it, they, people may see that content twice, but that's okay. It's highly likely that they'll just scroll past it if they've already seen it. But with all of the online coaches competing for attention on Facebook and literally millions and millions of groups, how do you grow your group from a thousand to three thousand to five thousand, even ten thousand members? One proven and automated way you can do that is through paid traffic on Facebook. That's why in this video, I want to give you the exact strategy and also walk you through step by step on how to build Facebook ads to grow your online fitness group. And this exact strategy is what I've used to grow several groups to 1,000, 5,000, and even 50,000 members. So let's dive straight in. Okay, so now I've jumped over into my computer and you can see that I am in Facebook Ads Manager. Now the first thing to point out is you do need to run your campaigns from a business manager account with an ads manager inside. So if I go over to the left hand side here, you can see these are all business manager accounts and then down here it says your account, which this is your personal Facebook ad account. And when you create a Facebook ad account, this is what's created for you. And this is just if you ever wanted to boost any posts or uh, use kind of the Facebook ad feature without going into the back end, which is business manager. So for this example, we definitely need to run uh, and have a business manager set up. So to do that, um, Google how to set up a business manager or just head over to any support documents that Facebook give you. And you need to go to business.facebook.com overview and set up a business manager account. Once you've done that, you obviously need a ads manager and also a Facebook page as well to do this. So there's plenty of uh, help uh, through Facebook's articles on how to set this up. So once we've got that set up, we now want to create our campaign. So if we click on the green button, create. Now this user interface may be different to yours um, because these vary around the world. They are updating the meta style of um, kind of ads manager at the moment. So you may have a meta um, business kind of account um, or business suite but mine is the old style ads manager. So yours may look a little bit different to this, but what we're looking for is the lead generation campaign. Now, previously we've run uh, what we call conversion campaigns. And this is where we take conversion traffic and send it to a landing page and then feed Facebook back uh, data from the pixel to tell them when we get conversions. And I'm sure you've heard if you've been looking at Facebook ads or you're in the, the marketing world, you'll uh, have heard about iOS 14 and all the changes that that's had um, with Apple, which has affected Facebook. So the conversion campaign um, is no longer as effective. It used to be our go-to and what we used to run for, for ourselves and all of our clients that we run traffic for. But now um, we've realized that lead generation works better. And this is because the leads stay inside Facebook. So Facebook can track all the way from the ad through to filling out the form and then sending them to your Facebook group. So for this example of growing your Facebook group with paid traffic, we've tried and tested and we use this ourselves and uh, plenty of our clients. We want to use the lead generation campaign. So we click lead generation and click continue. That will create us a um, our first campaign. So we can see here on the left hand side, we've got the campaign level, the ad set level, and then the ad level. So for this, this example, for growing your Facebook group, we're gonna use one campaign, one ad set, so one audience that we're gonna target, and we're going to use one ad. So one piece of creative and one piece of copy. So for this, we're just gonna leave um, the title as new lead generation campaign. You could name this whatever you want your Facebook group growth campaign or the name of your Facebook group. But again, we'll name this one just in case you wanna run variations in the future. But we're gonna leave this and everything else can stay the same on here. So you can ignore any of these settings. We now want to move on to the next step, which is the ad set. So inside the ad set, this is where we're gonna set our targeting. Now, like I mentioned earlier, with iOS 14 and the changes to kind of how privacy, privacy is being changed on the internet, 
uh, targeting has got a little bit more broad. So a lot of interests have been removed from Facebook um, and can no longer really, really narrow down the targeting. So um, just bear that in mind when creating your audience. You want to um, make your copy compelling and your ad compelling to really get through and cut through the audience to, to get to the right people. So for this campaign and for this example, I created a document just that I'm gonna pull from for the information. So the first thing I wanna look at is the example demographics and targeting. So locations, I'm gonna use United States, UK, Canada. I'm gonna use age range of 23 to 45. I'm gonna target all genders. And then I'm gonna use detailed targeting. So I'm gonna use interests of coaching, but they also must match fitness professionals. So I can target those people. Um, again, it's not as accurate as it used to be, but we still want to narrow our targeting down. So knowing that information, I recommend creating a document like this when setting up your uh, Facebook ads because it's something to work from and reference and make sure that you've got all the settings correct. So we'll scroll through again and go through each section. So lead method, again, we want to use instant forms. This is the form we're gonna create um, a little bit later in this video where we're gonna capture the data and that lead data to then um, send that traffic to our Facebook group. So next we scroll through and we make sure our Facebook page is connected to so the remote coaches Facebook page that's connected. Dynamic creative we can leave off, catalog we can ignore, budget. So the, the budget and the schedule. So I recommend anything, starting your campaign from anything from 10 pounds to $10. Um, purely because that seems to be a sweet spot. Anything less than that, it'll take you quite some time to get your Facebook ads going and get enough data from Facebook. So 10 pound usually seems like a good sweet spot uh, to start with. If you wanna start with more, that's absolutely fine, but good test is 10 pound or $10. Now the start date, I always start from the next day. Um, I don't recommend launching them at weekends. I always recommend launching them on weekdays um, just because Usually on a weekend, the audience traffic, the audience and the traffic is a little bit different um, and can be um, kind of tail off and not be as good. So starting on a weekend doesn't give you the best start to your ad campaign. I also recommend starting at 4 a.m. So if I go there and go to a.m. Purely because that gives Facebook enough time to put the ad into review and check it, and then it'll launch and uh, at 4 a.m. It might not spend because it will go off who you're targeting and your locations, but it gives it enough time to optimize and get going. If we started it today in the middle of the day, what might happen is um, it start spending as quick as possible and rush through that budget and not really get you the best ads. We wanna give this campaign the best possible start. So we've got the budget set, we've got the uh, start date set. Now we move on to audience. So we can ignore custom audience and we can move on to locations. So Remember I said what I was targeting, I want to target the United States as well. United Kingdom is already in there. So let's click United States and also Canada. So we've now got the locations um, set. Now we want to go to age. So the age range was 23 to 45. And again, I recommend Picking a nice age range, 10, 20 years, depending on your audience, um, nothing too too small. So, you know, if you're doing two years gap, so say 20 to 22, the audience would be very small. So we want to kind of find a nice range uh, for, the, for the age. All genders can stay the same. And now we want to look into the detailed targeting, so the interests. So we know the first interest I want to target was coaching. So I'll search coaching and it'll come up. So the, the thing we want to look at here is the audience size. So I want to make sure that uh, we're targeting a good audience. So you can see if I hover over it, it says 100, between 115 million and 135 million, which is a nice size. So we're going to click on coaching. And then I'm going to narrow this audience because this is a little bit too big. 41 million um, is a large audience. So we want to range from anything from 1 million all the way up to 5 million, um, potentially up to 10. But again, these are all um, guidances. I've tested a lot of Facebook traffic and the sweet spot usually is around two to five million. So we're gonna narrow this audience. I'm gonna narrow this audience with fitness professional. So I'll type that in and it should come up. And again, we can look at the size. So it's three million to four million, which is quite nice. So that brings my audience down to 4.9 million and 5.8. So I'm pretty happy with that. And I'm gonna test that to start off. 
Next, we wanna make sure uh, detailed targeting expansion is turned on. If I turn this on, it will expand the audience on Facebook and Facebook will go out and target people outside of this uh, detailed targeting to what it thinks could be a good match. It's good to test, but for this uh, first ad campaign we're creating, let's keep that turned off. Next, placements. So this is where you can choose where you want your ad to show. So if we click manual placements, we could restrict it from Instagram, from audience network. Uh, for this example, I'm just gonna leave it auto placements. You can play around with this. And again, these are all the different variations that you could test when creating Facebook ads. Next, optimizing delivery can just be uh, left alone. Um, now we have created our first ad set and audience to target. So I want to scroll back up and just name this uh, ad set. So I'll name it the locations first. So we'll go UK, US, CAD. And then I'm gonna put forward slash the uh, age range, 23 to 45, forward slash um, all genders, then the interest, so I know it's coaching and fit pro. And then finally, I'm just gonna put all P, so I know it's all placement. So again, you want to name this, so when you look at your ads and you're trying to look at the performance, you can see what audience you're targeting and see whether that's working against another audience. So instead of having to go into each ad set every time, you could see on a granular level, uh, sorry, on a larger level, so on the ad set level, what audience you're targeting. So that's all set up. Now we can move on to creating the ad and creating the lead form to help you grow your Facebook group. So we click on the ad, and the first thing we wanna check is it's going to our Facebook page. And you can see on the right side, it's pulling through uh, information already. So it's pulled through a nice image from our page, um, but we're gonna change that out. So we've got the page, that's fine. We want a single image or video. So now we can add that creative, so that image that we want to use. And for this example, we're just gonna use a singular image. So I'm gonna go edit, change media, and I'm gonna use one that I've already used in the past. But if you wanted to upload, you just click upload, and then you could upload anything here. So I'm gonna choose this, it's 10 by 1080. So that's the best ratio for Facebook, as you can see. Pulls through nicely for feed and in-stream videos. Again, stories and reels and search results and instant articles, it's not great, it's not formatted properly. Um, if you were doing this, I would probably uh, format this correctly for these one, but for this example, just gonna uh, set it like this. So now you can see that the ad is starting to take shape on the right hand side. So next we wanna pull through our primary text. This is what we call our copy. So I'm gonna go through to my document and I'm just gonna scroll down to grab the copy. I'll scroll up. So this is the copy we've created. We've got quite a long form uh, of copy. You can test uh, different variations. This has just worked for us, so I'm gonna copy this over. Again, you wanna test multiple different uh, kind of pieces of copy on Facebook, whether that's short form, long form, or anything in between. Um, but again, when you're first getting started, just put something up um, and get feedback, so get some data from Facebook and see whether it's working. So I've dropped that copy in, and you can see it's now added to uh, the ad on the right hand side. Now I just want to get the headline. So this is our headline, new simple guide to getting online fitness clients. And this is actually taken from ads we're running right now. So these ads are performing well um, and we're running these right now. So I'm going to drop that in the headline and we've now got the description. So the description is optional. This is pulled through for the different placements. Um, for this example, I'm not going to include it. It would drop it just underneath this headline here. But for this example, like I said, I'm not gonna add that in. Next, we wanna select the call to action. So from testing from thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars on Facebook uh, ad campaigns, I know that learn more is the best call to action. So we wanna use that um, as our call to action. So you see it drops in here, learn more. So the next thing we want to do is create our form. So like I mentioned at the start, we're not doing a conversions campaign anymore, we're doing a lead form or lead generation campaign. So that means that we go from ad to an instant form on Facebook, all the way through to a link to your Facebook group. So we're gonna click create form. And it brings up um, this kind of section where we can now create this form. So this is like creating a landing page inside of Facebook. So the first thing we're doing, we're gonna name this um, group growth Form. And we're going to choose more volume. You could choose higher intent if you wanted to uh, add an extra step to really um, kind of gate and, and try and make the 
the, the leads kind of more optimized and better quality. Uh, we've tested both, they do tend to work depending on what you're trying to do, but for this example, let's just test more volume. So then we want to move on to the intro and we want to change out this image because this is the image from the ad. We don't necessarily want to use this, we want to optimize this for uh, more of a banner style. So we created a banner previously, 1200 by 628 pixels. This was just created in Canva, so you can create something similar. We upload that and you'll see now that the remote coach's uh, banner pops up. So now we want to go to the headline. So I'm just going to dive over to my document um, and go through to the example. So our headline we're going to use is, Here what you're, here's what you'll learn inside this free guide. And a note on this ad campaign, we're using a lead magnet um, as kind of the conversion mechanism. So the why someone would want to opt in. For you, you could just put in about your group. So you could put a headline on um, why you should join uh, my Facebook group, and then you could add information of why they should join. Um, both work, we run straight to group ads, and we also use a lead magnet to then group. And these are the different kind of uh, strategies you could think of using. So this example, we are using a lead magnet, um, but for you to keep it really simple, you could just uh, talk about your group and why they should join, and then drop these details in here. So yours might say, here's what you'll find inside my free group. And then you can say all the reasons why they should join your group. And you can choose a paragraph or a list. For this example, I'm just gonna use the paragraph, but if you wanted it to be bullet points, you could. So now we can move on to the next section because you can see this is starting to take shape on the right hand side. So we're gonna add the question. So this is like when someone opts into your ad, we wanna capture some information. We wanna capture their name and their email so we could then send those details to our email list and we could start building our own email list. So we're gonna just use email and full name. We're just gonna move the full name to the top um, by dragging it and then uh, if you wanted to add more you could just add a category so you could add phone number or anything like that so just going to look at the example of what we've added to ours so you can see here we've added please fill out the fields below to get access to the free guide so we can add that in here so please add your details to the full guide so you can add any message in there. So you may say, please add your details below to get access to my Facebook group. So now we can move on to privacy. And now to run um, these lead formats, you do need to have a privacy policy. So I recommend setting up a privacy policy for your business anyway. Uh, if you're running paid traffic, it is a requirement. So I'm just gonna go and grab our um, privacy policy link. Copy that. and then drop that link in here. And then just add the remote coaches privacy policy. So that's now added. We can now move on to the final phase, which is probably the most important phase of this, isn't this is how we're going to get people to our Facebook group. So again, I'm just gonna pull up, uh, scroll down onto uh, example. So we want to look at the headline first. So the next step is for us is watch this bonus training. But for you, what you could put in is next step is to join the group. So let's add that in. So we're going to put a headline and say next step join my Facebook group. And again, you could add the, the bullet points you've used on the, the previous opt-in form to add, you know, give them more of a reason to join. So let's pull this through. Um, I know this is regarding the lead magnet, but I just want to give you the example. So we can pull this through here and that gives them the reasons why they should join. So the next one is view websites. So we want to use, um, we want to use the call to action as view website. We want to change it to join Facebook group. And then we want to add the link. Now you can't directly use your Facebook group link um, because Facebook doesn't actually want you to use that link. And also we want to use something called a deep link, which when everyone clicks on your ad, they're probably on their mobile phone. And what we want to do is when they click that link, 
want the mobile phone to register that that's for Facebook and open up the Facebook app. If you don't use a deep link, then when you open up uh, the link, it'll take you to uh, a browser like Safari or Google Chrome, and it will actually uh, make you log in. So you're gonna get a lot of people um, bouncing from your ad and leaving your ad. So the key is to use, um, we use a software called URL Genius. This allows to deep link your Facebook group. And then when they click that link, it will uh, open up on the Facebook app and then they're already logged in and they can just join your group. So I'm gonna pull that uh, link now from my document. So it's this one. And I'm gonna add that in there. So that's now created and I can click publish on this. So I'm gonna click publish. And you'll see now that our group growth form is created. So we've now created um, the ad, we've got the ad copy, we've got the image, and we've now created the form. So someone can uh, click on our ad, go through the form, and then go all the way through to our Facebook group and join our Facebook group. Um, scrolling down, we just wanna check anything else, but there's nothing else to do now than click publish. Um, so before we click publish, I'm just gonna name this. So I'll just name this, um, Canva graphic ad. So we want to name it what it is so we can see. So we know it's the Canva graphic ad. We've created this on Canva. Um, and now we've, we've created our first ad campaign. So now I could click publish. This would go into review. So I'm going to click publish now and it will load. And if I click off this X, I'll now see my uh, campaign if I just refresh my page it'll now be processing and then this will go into review. This may take around 24 hours to go live, but obviously it won't go live until you've set that time. So once it's uh, gone through review, it will say scheduled, once it's scheduled and then it hits that time, it will go live for you. So that is how to create a um, Facebook group ad using lead forms and create the ad, create the audience, and obviously create the, uh, the form as well for them to opt in and join your group. So that spending that money will get you leads, it will grow your email list, and also you should get people coming across to your Facebook group, answering your questions, and joining your Facebook group. So there you have it, a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to build a Facebook ad campaign to help you grow your Facebook group and ultimately grow your online fitness business. So growing your Facebook group is important, but equally as important is setting up your Facebook group for success because you could do all the marketing in the world and spend all the money in the world, but if you haven't got a good group, people will join they may not engage, and ultimately they might just leave your Facebook group. So if you want to learn how to set up a Facebook group correctly and create a thriving community for your online fitness business, then the next thing you want to do is check out the video I've got linked up here on how to set up a Facebook group for your online fitness business. In this video, I dive into all the tips, tricks, and also the settings that you need to create to create a thriving online fitness business group. So be sure to check it out, and I'll see you in the next video.